Hello, my name is Mike Papadopoulos and I am Associate Professor and Program Coordinator at the Department of Orthodontics of the School of Dentistry of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki in Greece. Mini-screw implants can be utilized as anchorage reinforcement modalities in a great variety of orthodontic problems. In our department, we gain significant clinical experience, especially using them to support orthodontic treatment of patients with class 2 malocclusion. In a recent meta-analysis we performed, we found that mini-screw implants are clinically more effective than conventional orthodontic anchorage means. However, in the literature, there is a wide range of success rates of mini-screw implants among the various researchers, while several factors have been accused to affect these rates. We therefore perform this meta-analysis in order to evaluate the success or failure rates of mini-screw implants, as well as to identify the risk factors that may affect these rates. 19 electronic databases and reference lists of the included studies were sensed with no restrictions. Only randomized control trials, prospective control trials and prospective cohort studies were included in our analysis. The results of our evaluation were as follows. From more than 4,000 records initially identified and after application of specific exclusion criteria, 52 studies remained for the overall miniscule implant failure estimate, while 30 studies remained for the risk factors estimate. The assessment of risk of bias of the trials included in the analysis revealed that they presented an overall medium quality. Further, visual inspection of the final plot and both Beck's and Eggers tests indicated evidence of publication bias. The reported mini screw implant failure rates ranged between 0 and 40.8%. Using the random effects model, the meta analysis of all trials revealed an overall failure rate of 13.5%, in other words, a success rate of 86.5%. The risk factors investigated were divided into categories with regard to patient, clinician, mini screw implant, insertion procedure, as well as treatment and complication characteristics. For safety reasons, a minimum number of five studies was deemed as adequate to perform data synthesis by meta-analysis for each factor under investigation, otherwise exploratory analysis were performed. With regard to the patient-related factors, no difference of the mini screw implant failure rates was observed for patients' gender and patients' age. Regarding the mini screw related factors, no difference of the failure rates was observed for the mini screw implant thread diameter and thread length. Regarding the insertion related factors, no significant differences of the mini screw implant failure rates were observed for the site of placement if it was left or right and for the site of placement if it was interradicular or palatal. In contrast, significant higher overall failure rates were observed only when the mini screw implants were inserted in the mandible compared to those inserted in the maxilla. Unfortunately, the small number of included studies precluded any safe assessment of all the remaining factors under investigation. In conclusion, according to the results of this meta-analysis, it can be stated that orthodontic mini screw implants present a modest mean failure rate of 13.5% indicating their usefulness in clinical practice. Failures of miniscule implants are significantly associated with the jaw of insertion, but not with patient's gender, patient's age and the site of insertion. However, scarce data derived from exploratory analysis suggests that failures of miniscule implants may be possibly influenced by various other factors, but further evidence is needed. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video presenting the results of our recent investigation on orthodontic mini screen plants. Thank you.